When humanity has crumbled and fallen into the sea, you know, when earthquakes and volcanoes ravage our planet, scholars will look back and remember the Frenemies podcast as the only lasting vestige of humanity that matters. <laughs> what brings us to here, which is a pairing of very bizarre. I've been wanting to make a podcast with like another comedian for a while, and I don't mean that to compliment you. <laughs> And in my mind, when I kept trying to think of people to do it with, I always thought, you know, me and Trisha have a really funny chemistry. Yeah. And I thought, well, f you know, fuck it. Let's just do it like that. Let's do a live. Fuck it. I wanted to ask you, what do you think about the news of the MAGA riot at the Capitol? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't hear about it. I saw it on Twitter. Uh-huh. I don't know anything about it. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? But that's a different thing. Like, what do you mean by I that? I saw someone do this. Was this a TikTok? We were watching something where someone's like, we don't actually need gravity. We were watching this to me. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Would you go on a date with OJ? If you um, weren't with Moses? Mm, can I just say, I used to have a little crush on OJ Simpson. But then, He's a handsome guy. He's a he's big... He's handsome. Yeah. But knowing what you know now, would you go on a date without? I did a music video dedicated to O.J. Simpson. I should probably delete it before this comes out because I did a whole music video saying how much I love O.J. Simpson. I really wanted to date him because he was getting out of prison, and I was like, "Oh, maybe I should date oh, him." You're fucking, you're crazy. Subconsciously, I do think I wanted to die. Like I was like, if I get murdered, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like death by O.J. Suicide by O.J. Yeah, if I'm gonna die, I'd rather be die at the hands of a famous person. Um, you know, it's a little more iconic to my story, to my legacy. Yeah, you'd be forgotten if Moses killed you. Who the fuck's gonna pay me to be on OnlyFans? A lot of people. Um, do you watch? Mm -hmm. uh, you know you do that. Wait, what? When you end a sentence, you go. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally have no idea what you're talking about. You go. A lot of people. Um. Mm -hmm. I definitely did. You did that right then. Like, no, definitely not. Isaac Newton created gravity. Whoever created gravity, someone did, but we don't actually need it. There like, was we a time just on, all... There was a time on Earth before gravity existed. Yes. Oh. Who who created gravity, babe? God. Dan. <laughs> it was Isaac well, Newton. You're you... right. <laughs> what do you mean we don't need gravity? gravity? I'm curious about that. We statement. just don't need it. But like, what do you mean? <laughs> the moon doesn't have gravity. Oh boy. It does. All bodies, all celestial bodies. I mean, all bodies all you mass. have gravity. Uh, anything with in mass fact, has gravity. So, in fact, some would say you have a sizable amount of gravity. What's that mean? <laughs> I'm fat? You're calling me fat yeah. now. Yeah, attractive. Yeah, oh. attractive. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with the Peter Pan and Michael Jackson. Right? Bro, that's kind of fucked up because a lot of people say Peter Pan is like a pedo euphemism. Right. Okay, so you're you actually are on my side with Michael. Well, I he, thought you were a Michael apologist. He lived in Neverland. You know what I mean? He dead. Wait. So do you think Michael did it or not? I think he died. Do you think he did it? Oh, did what? Wait, Michael's alive. Michael Jackson died. Oh, he died. Do you think Michael Jackson did it? Did what? You know it. Oh. I believe the victims, yeah. Me too. Okay. Oh, hashtag me too? So I think it's a good meme. Okay. So. Okay. And then here I'll do one. <laughs> I don't know. I love Jewish people. Mm -hmm. Don't you find it odd to say I love Jewish people just mm -hmm. as a general statement? I just love them. What They're do so you interesting. What do you love about Jews? They're so different. Really? Like, do you yeah. find me to be different? Mm -hmm. Well, just Jews in general. Like you guys have such like traditions you know like let's fast in september mm -hmm. you guys have it like the new year is coming up right so like this weekend's a new year and it's like who just decides that <laughs> the new year is january 1st but jews are like mm, september but you know the week. jews like, were doing the new year before mm -hmm. january 1st new year yeah sure. here i am i'm so excited for rosh hashanah this weekend am i invited uh oh no, God, moses is invited and he you want to bring moses you want to bring trisha Oh my god, I can't believe this. No, I can't do this. I can't have Trisha at my Rosh Hashanah. This is so fucked up that you're... So this excited. is insane. I low-key got really sad about the Holocaust this weekend. Moses explained to me what actually happened, and I, like, started crying. You just found out about the Holocaust? I had no idea that they, like, tricked them into going to showers and, like, killed millions of them that way. Have you seen Schindler's List? No. You should watch that. 
I feel like I got, I got really sad when he said that because we were watching the producers and they had like springtime for Hitler. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And then he was like telling me, I'm like, well, what did Hitler do? That was so bad. Oh my God. And then he told me. I have to beat you. I have to beat you. <laughs> I, mean, I can't lose to you. I just think you're, I can't lose. <laughs> Everything is tied up in this. Just go ahead. You didn't know, you just literally asked me, what did Hitler do that was so bad? I didn't know, really, but it's good to know and be educated. So, All right, Japan let's go. In World War II, too. So, we have Oh my God. How I can't lose. Go, go, go. <laughs> honestly, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, even when I've, like, someone stole my Lamborghini, and I was like, honestly, if you need it, you should keep it. Somebody stole your Lamborghini? Yeah, it was a huge thing. We have, like, footage. Yeah. Sorry. Did you get an insurance claim on that or something? I, they found it two days later. Oh, they did? Was he it sold trash? it on, like. When the fuck did that happen? Uh, this was, like, 2019. And then what was this one really caught my attention on Instagram? You posted picture of groceries. Uh, you posted a picture of Skippy, extra crunchy, single, craft single, American, yeah. LaCroix, pure sparkling water, yeah. uh, bread, just the bottom part where it says visit, Capri Sun, fruit punch, uh, tater tots, tater tots, no butter. Problem. Well, that was more for you. <laughs> Why? Because I wanted to like make grilled cheese this episode. I thought that'd be fun, but you posted this as a weird subliminal way of communicating with me. Yeah, <laughs> I thought maybe you what? would see it because you. Bono? Some people say I look like Bono. Stop! I you swear. Literally <laughs> said the last episode you look like Samuel Jackson. Don't I kind of look like him today? Hello, hello. Wait, wait There's you... a place called Vertigo. <laughs> How do you look like Jackson. Bono? Why do you say that? Um, I think I look like him a little bit. In what way? The nose, the mouth, the glasses, the hair, the cheekbones. Can you pull up a picture of Bono? <gasps> I really do, though. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Wait, hold on. Let me go straight into the camera. I, I literally think there's no resemblance in, in the slightest bit. It's like you. there's no resemblance. No <laughs> resemblance. Zero. We both do amazing things for this world. That's the similarity, right? We Very love good. Egypt. We uh, love Egypt. Why do you love Egypt so much? I just found out it was real on your show on H3. That's what I'm si that's why I'm so upset that I can't lose. That you didn't you thought Egypt was a I mythological thought it was place. Fake. Like Cleopatra I thought was fake. Like I thought everything was fake and this is a whole new world to me. Shout out Egypt. How are you real? Do you understand how humiliating mm. it would be to lose to someone who doesn't know that Egypt's real? Do you want <laughs> Whatever. Were you surprised that a movie about the Holocaust was sad? Oh yeah, it was way too sad. We started like watching it and then our dinner arrived and I felt really sad eating like mac and cheese while someone was getting blown in the back eat, of the head. Eating the mac and cheese is sad enough. <laughs> it was. They all look the same. They literally all look the same. I was so confused. Who and they all have they all wear the armbands, not just the Nazis. The Jews wore the armbands. Everyone wore armbands. I'm like, I'm so confused who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. And even the Jews were on the bad guy's side. I was so confused. Like the Jews were like on the the bad guys. I was so I was Moses, so how do you uh, <laughs> this is insane. Do you can't <laughs> Well, this yeah. but th this is like <laughs> this is not the takeaway you're supposed to get from Schindler's list. We we try. I feel like I'm living through a second Holocaust right now. <laughs> with me or just like, yeah, with oh. you. I'm oh <laughs> not that I made jokes. I'm just saying like, it's just awkward now. I'm like, oh, did I say something wrong? Like, <sighs> this podcast is a disaster. <laughs> oh, here, rating my Jew. Okay, this is the one I had a problem with. Okay. Now, now Trisha, <laughs> you know you can't, you says rating my Jew lunch. Uh-huh. Jew is like a derogative. No. My Jew lunch. I think it's the way if you say it. I was writing like, oh, my Jew lunch. No, that's not. You can say I'm a Jew from Israel, but you can't use Jew as an adjective. Like Jew lunch sounds you, fucked up. People can say they're a Jew and I can't say Jew lunch. Do you know what I'm saying, Dan? There's the there's there's a distinction there. This is kind of like cultural appropriation, isn't it? Appreciation. I can tell you with on, with 100% certainty, you cannot say that. It's offensive. Moses said it was fine, and he is from Israel and had a bar mitzvah. So he's Israeli. They were slaves in Ij Egypt. Like he wasn't a slave. His ancestors were. Your ancestors weren't. Wait, why? Well, how do? Wait, what? Because he's in the land of the free. The wait, free. Anyways, this is you know that. Cool. Wait, hold on. You know that Jews who who moved to Europe which is where my ancestors come from, right. have a common origin. That's what being Jewish is. Right, but they weren't exiled. That's why they live in Europe. No. So where'd they come from? 
Where'd they come from, Trisha? I don't know. But I right. know that the people in Israel were exiled from Egypt as slaves. Where do you think that the people from Europe come from? Where were they exiled from? The same from? place, bro. Where? That's what the Jewish... From Israel or Egypt? From Egypt. Well, that's what the Bible says, but that's obviously contested. So, yeah, exactly. But it's the same tribe of people. Mm. Wait, but if we have a house, I mean, that's like a bigger commitment than a baby. Wow, you're <laughs> fucking really... <laughs> That's the that's such a dumb thing to say. You serious? Do you know what it's like to share custody with a child? I do. I had divorced parents. You think that's easy? Easier than a house? Uh yeah, for sure. I think they didn't want to give up the house more than they didn't care about giving us up. That explains <laughs> all this. Hey, I turned out fine. You know, having two Christmases, two birthdays ain't a bad thing. You saying turned out fine. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. You're okay. way crazier than That's me. That's so not true. No, but you're way crazier than me. That's not true. I have a friend that I think might be a serial killer. Well, I don't think he's killed anyone yet, but I think he might what, eventually. Why? What are the signs? He's, well, he, just all of them. Has, does he, does he uh, hurt animals? No, that's no, no, like no. the number is that the number one, one time? Yeah. Mm, I don't think he does that. I Tortures think, animals. I think he's just on the path of maybe. If you see him hurting animals, you should call. Of course. Oh my god, no! If yeah. I really thought he was gonna kill someone, I'd call, I'd call somebody. Okay. I think he's just good looking. I think that's why I think he's a serial killer because he's like too good looking to be single. One of my <laughs> questions for you is how long do you think it's gonna last? Because my thing is like, because with you, I know that like you ha your relationships are very hot and cold. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> we've built this whole set and table. And I wonder, you know, mm -hmm. I wonder how many episodes we, we make before before this whole thing is burned to the ground. Tell, explain to me why you're dating my brother-in-law. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> well, obviously you do. About any of the bullshit you're talking about other than that. Oh, oh, really? Why I are you dating my brother-in-law? <laughs> he said, he said, I don't love her yet, but I really like, I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. <laughs> Why, you guys say you love each other? Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, we already, like, he already is, like, we have to have a wedding in Israel, too. Like, we already talked about, like, oh I was just... Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just... Boobs, I just want them more fake. I need them higher and... More fake. Yeah. I want them a little higher, more high profile. Because I have a feeling I'm going to get, like, proposed to soon and probably get married. So I want to get this done before all that happens. So I look snatched. You think Moses is going to propose to you? Yeah, I think so, maybe. A Jew proposal. Assume. Be honest with me right now. Yeah. As we end, just tell me this. How long, and just be totally fucking brutally honest with me, is this relationship with Moses going to last? Like, I, I like, know we're going to get married. Wow. Cool. Don't Saturday. you fucking get her pregnant. He did the day before and the day yet. after, but not the day of. You're on birth control? No. Are you doing a condom? Nope. You're getting fucking get her pregnant, you psycho. <laughs> Do you understand what you're doing? I'm you like, guys really want to have a baby already? Go ahead, tell the truth. <laughs> Aw, isn't that sweet? Holy fuck. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to, but I'm, I like I'm trying to think if this is, I'm, I'm really trying to be honest with like, if you guys got pregnant, I think you would both be really good parents, but I don't think Aww. this relationship would work out. If we had a baby? Yeah. Okay, if we didn't have a baby, you think it would work out? Not forever. Just being honest. This is so <laughs> fucked up. My birthday last year, we were hooking up for months and like seeing each other every day. And my birthdays are a huge deal. I make, I make birthdays huge deal for everyone, him, me, everybody. And he <laughs> didn't give me anything on my actual birthday. But two weeks later comes, I got your birthday present. And it's a framed picture of his water photography. That was the last thing I pulled. That's what The first time he gave me his stickers, I was not amused. I threw, I left them in the car. So it's like, I don't know why you gave me. I, again, proud of you. So proud of you. And I love him now. If he gave me that now, would love it because I'm in love with you now. But I wasn't in love then. I'm Moses, like, why did you get You're me? in your defense. That's what an artist gets. I'm a girl. I don't want a photo of water. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, anyway, he said, Ethan, if you see this, I hope you have a much better 2020. And I'll say that the fact that my brother-in-law and Trisha are engaged is a great way to start Aww. the year. I love you both. And I'm just very happy and excited for the future that you guys hold. So congratulations, Moses. Great job. And you pulled out all the stops. God damn, oh, dude. God. You, so you know how I proposed to Ela? How? Not as good as this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, let's talk about um, Only fans? your our collab, <sighs> bro. Only I wouldn't do that for a billion fucking dollars. You love money. We talk about this. You are driven by money. I don't love money that much. 
You that, wouldn't do it. Not even comedy, aren't you? I swear to God, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for any amount of money. But like Elon Moses could be there. So if, it's like not if weird. If Jeff Bezos was like, I'm gonna give you guys a billion dollars <laughs> if you take a, a shower together. <laughs> you are such a I'd liar. I'd be like, fuck you, Jeff Bezos, you sick fuck. Don't you have a better use of your money? I feel like you want to because I know like you've always kind of inched towards wanting to do an OnlyFans, and so what? I feel like this is like your segue in. No. Well, I'm saying no. I'm flat out. <clears throat> Do you, oh my God, I don't know what to ask. Come Do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> wow, really is just all about how much, you really, your mind is one place. <laughs> That's all I asked for. Uh, no. That is uh, true. Oh, uh, you could have This is me. such, yeah, that's such a lie. Like, we know that's a lie, like, whatever. No, I definitely don't want to fuck you, trust you me. You definitely do. Because you want to, like, I just feel like you either want to, like, be me or be in me, you know? Like, one what? is true. <laughs> I feel. Be, I don't want to be either of those I think things. one or the other. Do you think that everybody wants to be you or be in yeah, you? Yeah, for sure. And you don't trust me when I say I have no desire to fuck you or be Yeah, you. I know you're lying. I never know if you hate or like me, like, genuinely. I genuinely don't care like about you, go, you, but like you go, I, like you really convincing me that you hate me and you're gonna leave, and then you go, "Thank you for the jacket. I love that jacket so much." Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent to you. Like I don't think about you outside of this. Like I think it's cool because, like, oh, you have like your own thing going, and mm -hmm. I have my own thing going, so it's cool. We did like this yeah. collab thing, yeah. but I don't think about you outside of this ever. I'm gutted. But like not a bad way. Like I'm not like, oh my god, I hate Ethan. It's that's just more good. like, no, yeah. I'm glad you don't hate me. Mm -hmm. I just indifferent. That's good. Like I leave here and like don't. Think I have about positive you. feelings for you. I mean, you have feelings for me? Not yeah. like romantic, like wow. friendship. This is so Do awkward. you have something <laughs> wrong with your head? Because you think that any interest a guy shows in you, like there, there's such a thing as like friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Not every, all male interest means they want to fuck mm, you. I don't think there's a thing as like guy friends. Like if Moses had a girlfriend, I'd be like, no, like a friend that's a girl, no. Yeah, but we're not friends like that. But like, I like mm -hmm. you as a friend. It doesn't mean I want to fuck I you. I think you just like like me as like someone to do a podcast with. Ethan likes Trisha. Three likes. Look at that. Oh, Ethan Amy's likes Trisha. Fine. Do you think that I like you? Do you yeah. Think, like sexually? <laughs> no, I think you have like a crush on me. <laughs> you really do? Do you kind really? Of, yeah. That's, that's the I think answer. you have a little bit. I mean, I know like it's like you it's fine to have crushes on people. I feel like you know. I, 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 I promise you a that. A little bit. It's fine. It's zero. healthy to have a crush on people. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Because you wanted to move it to twice a week. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that because it's it's good. Not because I want to fuck you. I mean, no. I think you have a. I think you have an illness that you think. Well, everything has to become sexual with you, and you think every guy wants oh. to fuck you. I guarantee, dude, Trisha. I mean, with peace and love, I really would rather fuck put my dick in a That's in a socket. Love me, daddy. You say daddy so funny. How? Say daddy three times. Daddy. 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 You know you're saying it funny. How should I say it? Say it. I'll try and repeat how you're Daddy. saying it. Daddy. Yeah. That's how you say it? Yeah. Daddy. Well, yeah. Daddy. That's a weird kink you have or something because you're making me say it so many times. You're like, well, mm, say it three times. Say it just, again. You, you're literally walking around going, Daddy. That is the name of the I know, but it's the way you say it. <laughs> I made a video called Instagram versus Reality, which is... You know, on Instagram, people put on these makeup and Photoshop and filter, and they look so much different than than how they look in real life. <laughs> yes. This girl is the spokesman of Instagram reality. They're, why do? You, why are you even a model if you're gonna modify your looks that much? It's like from beauty queen to WWF wrestler in two seconds. This is Coachella versus world star hip hop. <laughs> No! That cannot be the same person! Dude, Coachella versus open casket funeral. <laughs> so I just look like a big fat monster. I disagree. But glamour. I disagree. No, I you're like, like you're like the traditional fat girl that has a pretty face. Like, oh my god, your face is so pretty. Like that is your face. Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people suspected you were mad at me in the last episode because I've been slamming you on the costume so hard. Fine. This is the only week where you've been on my level. Now nah, this is the only day where you were close to me. The other days was like, Kobe, ooh, 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 doo, doo, doo. three points, half court line, Tish. and then you're like all swoosh. Or wait, what's it called when you miss? Airball. Right now that I'm not. Yeah, that's 
good though. That's really good. All right, don't touch me. That's insane. Freak. He Chris loves Hansen. dressing as females. He's been doing girl makeup this whole time. I think like he's you only gotten are it. super upset that I come on here and look better than you every single time. Part of the reason we've been fighting is because you're upset that every week we come out here, I look way better than you. God. And by the way, all the comments say, Ethan outdid Trisha again. And when I come out <laughs> here looking like this, she gets upset. Well, you're fat. You're fat, fat, fatty. Doesn't bother me. Keep eating fatty. Oh my God. Go wait, read a wait. book and eat chocolate fatty. Wait no till I take the lead. No one wants to fuck you But fatty. what do you mean? I mean, I've done it like a billion times now. Oh my God. I don't think, I literally don't know if I could do it. I was like, Ela, get ready, study this. Cause when I get diabetes, you're going to be doing this to me. Oh my God. No, I did a diabetes joke on TikTok and it did not fly. What'd you say? Oh, oh, oh. You can't joke about diabetes? Yeah, now? it was the almost there TikTok where it's like, almost there. I'm what? almost there. Oh, so that's like funny. me when I get diabetes after eating That's degree. funny. Yeah, everyone's, and I took it down. They're like, you can't joke about diabetes. I'm like, oh, well. What? You can't even joke about diabetes, but we're fat. We're like basically pre diabetic. <laughs> you're not fat anymore. You can't be we. Oh, please. You can, now you're working out every I mean, Don't good for you. Laugh. Don't make me live. <laughs> no, it's very small. It's getting smaller. Why don't you show it from the side? See it up and show it because it actually does Nobody look smaller. Wants to see this. Oh, there are people who want to see it. Let's see. Wow! Don't stick it out and be stupid. Just be normal. Be normal. Cast away. Wow! We that are cast away. Okay, but you're being stupid. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi. It looks okay. We All right. You know <laughs> I think it it's good. Like? You know the fanny pack that you wear that looks like a dude's gut? They That's my gut. <laughs> no, you're I making it unattractive. Cast away. Just be normal with it. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. Okay, here's put, my your, put your hoodie down now. Put your hoodie down and show it. Look at that. Why do I need skinny. to put the hoodie? There it is. Yeah, you are, you really are. Although now you're not supposed to tell people if they're losing weight either because that can also be triggering for people because they think they have to keep going. And we got to draw the line. I, regardless, I have other mental Oh, that's for sure. Ill, I mean, I, I, But that's what you told me. You don't look like you have a mental health illness. Oh, Anthony Padilla, you don't look like you're fucking depressed. You look happy with your girlfriend. Don't fucking talk about mental illness. I hate people like that that try and tell me I don't have something. No, you definitely have something. Trust me. <laughs> I had no... I have. Trisha's tr pretending to have a mental health illness reviews. Other you think the, she's saying... Breath, you think she's sane? I mean, good luck breath. arguing in that. In the same breath to be like. I think you're a good person. I just think you're, I think you're, I think you're genuinely, and I mean this with peace and love, crazy. Sure. And, and I think sure. your your life is, is, a, is an internal battle between, mm -hmm. between trying to stay on the rails as much as possible. On a narcissistic scale, you say the average is what? Average is 15. The high, the highest possible score is 40. God. So Ethan, what do you think you got? Maybe a 15. Maybe, I say eight. Maybe average. Eight for Ethan. Okay, well, Ethan actually got a seven. Oh, oh, oh that's sure. nice, I, I think. No, he's, he's very self-deprecating and has a low self-esteem. So, so overall, I, I knew you wouldn't be nice. Low self-esteem. Well, low, yeah. <laughs> Trish, let's do the same with you. Okay. Where do you think you stand? I would like to say I'm right in the middle at like... 20 because I don't think I should lead the world, but I do like to look at myself naked. So I would say I'm a nice 20. <laughs> so you think you're a 20, average is 15. I think you're higher than 20. I think you're probably a 25. Wow. So the big reveal is that Trisha has scored a 30 out of 40. Holy shit. Oh, I missed it by five points. Whoa, yes. you're way yes. up there. Shit, I could have been, over, I mean, if I'm going to be up there, I might as well be over Robin. Like, I don't want to be Can second Can she take play. it again? <laughs> I know. Can she take it again? She wants that 35. Shit. Yeah. So wait, how, so oh, what, fuck. so what percentage of people score that high? 35. Well, a, a, a 30, actually a, a 34 is what they call three standard deviations above the average, which means that. You're you're higher than ninety nine percent of the population. Wow! Holy shit! I'm in the, you were into pills. You never talk about that. That you were a pill addict for a minute. What? Yeah, you said that. You said you were really into pills, and you don't talk about that. Why do I need to talk about that? Because that's being open. That you're judging me for being crazy. See, this is why you are such a dangerous person, especially to be close with, because you'll take <laughs> something that I've told you, and you'll take something that somebody told you in confidence and you'll use it, you'll weaponize it against them. That's that, not true. That's what you just did. No, I And luckily no, for you, I don't no, care and I'm okay no. with it. But you go, oh, well, you're, I told you an anecdote about how I used to take like what's like okay. tramadol back in Israel. 
when I was like bored in a dead end job, and you literally just weaponized I that did. against me. You call me crazy, knowing my history. Bro, you we call always me call you crazy. You're okay, like upfront but crazy. But if you're gonna call me crazy, then I'm gonna say, yeah, hey, why don't you, you own up to what you've done? That's that also doesn't make crazy. Me crazy. Okay, I'm joking around, and then you go, okay, so what What do I have no. to weaponize against Ethan? Oh, he oh. told me he used to take bills in Israel. I no. don't think he's ever said that, so here, I'm going to drop oh. that on him. You want me to weaponize you? Because I have things I can actually weaponize but you with, and I don't. This is No, but I don't do it. There's certain you things. You just did it. Moses knows there's certain things by him I would and never say. And you just say. threatened me with doing it more. That I'm over this. I'm so over this, and yo, I really am, like, 100% done with the show. So this is it? Yeah. So you I'm can renegotiate my terms and maybe I'll come back, but that's it. Renegotiate? You already have max terms. You're maxed out. No, I don't think so. After this today, I'm renegotiating. You want to give me 25000 for the set? No. So what do you want? Because I didn't have a say in the set. I didn't have a say in how it was like built or anything. I had my set designers and they're like, oh, they're not available. I, I tried to reach them. Mm. Mm. All right, whatever. Well, good luck with this channel. It's doing great. Is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's doing fine. Okay. Cool. I was genuinely feeling bad because, but I don't know because I feel like I always goof on goof with her like that, right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Am, am I am I wrong to think that she was kind of like? Well, maybe I shouldn't continue this conversation without her. Probably. It's not, not fair. Probably not. I think I said my piece. Yep. But uh, we hope to see Trisha soon. We miss her, <laughs> and I really genuinely am sorry. I'm laughing because Dan's laughing. Hmm. It's funny. We both got pissed off over the same thing. Would, what were you pissed? What was your annoyance? Uh, the thing where you said that I have a pill addiction. That pissed you off. It didn't piss me off. I was just like, that's fucked up that she said that. Oh, well, I'm glad because that's exactly what you do to me when I, with the, the first episode of H3, when I'm like, I don't want to show you, like, I don't want to do this. And then you're like, no show. I'm like, you have to edit that out. You're like, no, I'm not going to edit that out. Like, it's the same can thing. I, can I add some context to the earnings thing too? Because the, we were debating if you made money on that. Uh, yeah, but that I said, don't say not. it, don't say it. And then you're like, you made $8,000. I'm like, please edit that out. Please edit I that out. I, I should have not. You're right. I, well, you first of all, you were afraid your channel was going to get banned, and it didn't. But I asked you not to. I said I was uncomfortable. To stop it. Like it, I mean, it was clear. But you're right in that I I didn't have to say the amount. I could have just said, "Wow, you you did make money on this video." Right. So I'm glad that you could feel it. A little bit of pain. Honestly, I'm not. I'm I'm bitter like that. I'm a petty bitch where I'm like, if if I, you're going to make me feel pain, I'm going to make you feel that same pain. <laughs> like yeah, that's why that's we love it. you. <laughs> No, I'm fine. I'm over it. I was just trying to, I just wanted us to understand each other. That's all. First of all, Dr. Drew, the acclaimed doctor, is with us today. Um, he today is going to be our marriage counselor, our couples therapy counselor. I'm going to bug you for the next however long we're together <laughs> to start with, as opposed to you. I've noticed. Okay. I've noticed. Okay? I've noticed everything's about you. <laughs> <laughs> we have Eli as a guest on our podcast. No. Why? Because people think, like, I hate her or she doesn't like me or something. Like, I feel like we need to have, like, because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I like Hila so she much. She could sit in. Yeah, she could probably sit in. You just said no. Now you're like, It's nah, yeah. just a snap judgment. She's busy. Don't talk about Hila. We're cutting this part out. She doesn't want to be talked about. Are you fucking serious? I'm serious. We have to cut this. Okay, you know what? Leave it in. No. Every time no, don't. you I go, don't why does Ela hate me? And she's like, I don't hate her. It's super annoying. Why does she keep saying that? And, and why it's does causing she text me. Like, just text, text me. you. Be like, hey, I don't hate you. You know what I mean? Like, but when she's like telling you stuff about Moses, because I always I say, like, I don't care. yeah, we should cut this. Let's just move on. No, but like in general, like I just I'm telling you now, like she needs to text me and just be like, hey, I don't hate you. You know, but it's like she's telling Moses, like, oh, Trisha says this I think, and that. It, okay, like, this is all off the record, but I think she's just really annoyed by the situation and she just needs some time. Honestly, it has nothing to do with you. Okay, And so, I don't want to get in the middle of it. Why are you so upset? It's just so bullshit. You guys are such bullshit. You guys are so fake and it's like like actually annoying why like is it fake, fake that Ela doesn't want because you're like don't get in the middle of it but then it's also i see that it's about me and that my name's brought up and it's like okay if my name's being it's brought not up, about you me. it's about it's between Ela and her brother why do you need to get involved in that in that dynamic just let them sort it out <laughs> we have pizza on the way you're okay, gonna go you're gonna you're just gonna forsake all the pizza i don't want to like come back here for real like to the house because i don't feel comfortable it's her house like i don't want to be in here when i have a kid i'm not gonna have nannies that's pretty i'm sure what does that mean? You're not going to have a babysitter when you have a kid? How are you going to do anything? You're going to... What does that mean? You're trying to attack our parental abilities? Let's just move on. 
And so you think we're bad parents? That's what I you're didn't insinuating. Say that. I said I would never have a nanny. Did I say you had a bad parent? You're putting words in my mouth. I literally said I would never have a nanny if I had a kid. Okay. Why are you attacking our parental? I'm not. I said choices. I would not have a nanny if it was me. But 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 so I'm not attacking your parental choices. You do whatever you want. The pizza's here, everybody. Woo! We had a full meltdown while you were gone. I'm not coming back to the house. I'm not. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the literal meme where you walk in with the pizza and the room's on fire. <laughs> this is the literal meme where you come back with the pizza. Oh, my I God. I just left to get pizza. This is literally. Fucking. Okay. I literally don't care. Literally, I don't want to come back because I really fucking hate her. So she she always making comments about the family and how I wasn't that wasn't it I said oh Ela should be a guest why... on the podcast and you're like don't fucking mention Ela she's the one we talked about oh a fucking queen you guys talk about my shit all the time it's... but her don't fucking mention her name dumb fucking bitch okay I think we should just end it honestly yeah I think so too all right you should leave we'll talk later <laughs> yeah you should get out I'm not, I am going but yeah. we're not talking later fucking <laughs> fucking bitch you too. It's not about dumping. Oh, well, here we are. You know, I think, first of all, we came off, this is coming off of our biggest, baddest, uh, dramatic. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, how do you, how would you call it? I don't want to say, I said meltdown or you stormed off, but that seems to, that seems. I think it was a meltdown. Was it a meltdown? I think I, I kind of spiraled a little bit with all the <laughs> videos I made about you guys after. It was probably my most embarrassing thing on camera, so it's. Really? Yeah. Of all the things? I, I, yeah, I think if you and Ela didn't call me yesterday, I may not have come back because I was so embarrassed, but because she was okay with it, I was like, all right, let me try it. <laughs> it's hard. I feel like people mis <clears throat> misperceive you and misunderstand you. I think people think that you're not self-aware or that you're just yeah. like this wrecking ball and that you kind of are just like this emotionless creature that just smashes everything up and you don't oh, think no. twice about it. Yeah. But, oh, it's no, all, no. but it's clear to me now that, that you are very aware of how you can be d hurtful and, and mess things up and that it does hurt you. Yeah. And I, and I understand about how I said, you know, at that time was maybe just hitting was hitting too hard and was was just too mean and it was something that that you are you know painfully aware of yeah but i think you like exaggerate drama with people and yes i know i'm very upfront with that it's just for fun i say i literally <laughs> said in the beginning of this podcast with logan paul i said i'm the king of petty beef all i need is a crumb and you gave me the whole fucking loaf <laughs> like yeah it's just fun for me wow i wonder who influenced me to be like that trisha why are you looking at me like that See, this is what's bullshit. Everyone goes, like, wow, Trisha really rubbed up on Ethan. Why are you looking so outraged at me? Can you just watch I, this clip? Oh, my God. The whole show. Can I just show you a clip? <laughs> All my drama is real. I don't have petty drama with So people. what are you talking about? My drama is real, too. Okay, let's hear it. See it. So anyway. <laughs> my only communication with you this week was a text like, did Jeffrey really sleep with Kanye? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, when you texted me that, I'm like, how would I know that? Why would somebody I know was that? Like, uh, somebody, for some reason, was like, Trisha probably has some intel on it. No, it was so weird when he texted. He, I felt like a like a fan texting me. I'm like, who is this? And I was like, oh my god, it's Ethan. Texting you want me to communicate? I don't know what you want from me. You want me to communicate? You don't want me to communicate. Maybe you text me too much. You don't text me enough. What am I? <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend or your fiance. I don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> You're my co-host, though. You're the co-host. Text me. You never text me. Uh, you never initiate conversations with me. That's true. Okay, so. All right. Whatever. Whatever. All right, can I read the head crate? This is just an exact representation of Jeffrey. And what sucks is like Jeffrey will always be successful and he'll always keep going. And he's like an actual bad person. Like he's an actual bad person. And it's evident by these people. Like it comes out in them. And I'm just like, God, it sucks. And what they said to me is like, yeah, we have to slowly distance ourselves and all this stuff like that. And they're like promoting him still. Like, and, and so I don't think like cancel Jeffrey because he told me to jump off a bridge or like told me like I had bad skin. But it's like, this is fucked up. Because you know what? They probably would be happy if I killed myself. Jeffrey is that person who would be like, haha, dumb bitch died. Like, that's literally how he is. Jeffrey said he was going to throw acid on an N-word's face. Like, he has the worst shit. He needed the Shane's fuck? redemption. Yeah. And so he clung to Shane because Shane was saving everybody. Jeff Tana, after TanaCon, Jake Paul. So Jeffrey needed Shane. Shane probably wanted Jeffrey for that cash palette. And so they have this fake-ass friendship of three years. I've known Shane 12 years. Never once asked him for anything. That sucks. I mean, I've heard shit. He, well, I just yeah. feel bad because I know Shane was like, I know you love Shane and you, I mean, I know he's like your best friend. And 
I don't know. I know that your, his relationship to you was really important, so I felt really bad. Oh. You know what's crazy is you were the only person left on the internet defending Shane. And we were even, I, dude, you even got me supporting Shane. <laughs> I was like, this is a pro Shane podcast. Yeah. But then it's funny, D'Angelo flipped me a little bit. Right, right, right. Yeah, you did get flipped in. And I was still like, you but know what? But I was still holding out out of respect for you. I'm not going to go out there and say I hate Shane Dawson. I don't think but that's But I'm just fair. saying he really, he really, he really needs to respect, the, like, what you, how much you support him. Jeffrey, you heard it here. I, Ethan Klein, here now on the H Street Podcast and make proclaiming this. Fuck Jeffrey Star. Okay. That's on you. I'm not saying that. I said me, Ethan Klein, and in association with Trisha <laughs> Paytas. Stop it. This is a co-statement being know. made by both of us. Okay, I need black. I'm done. That's disgusting. Shame on you. Well, at least mine looks like what I'm supposed to make it. You're threatened. You know, you know you're falling behind. Oh my god. Who's your dream guest? People always say you say yes to my dream guest. Who's your dream guest? Why would I ever need a guest when I have Trisha Paytas with me? Oh. So, there's no one. I mean, that's no kind of true. That. I am the best guest H3 has ever had. Okay, here we go. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh, this get is in that pipes, so baby! Oh, there we go! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, get it in there, Trisha. <laughs> oh, it's hot! Everything's hot! Here, here, here. Lower, lower. Oh! <laughs> like, this is a no-win situation for me, basically. Like, if I'm actually good at it, then okay. I'll never be forgiven You'll for putting a banana me. down my throat. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> oh, my God. You went there, girl. I'm not. This is like the oh, gayest thing I've do ever it. done. You made me do Either, it. Can I do this? Because I feel like <laughs> I will never be forgiven. Like, the, this will always be on the Internet. Okay, go. Dan, who cares? You deep throat a banana, Dan. <laughs> who cares? Oh! Oh, wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let you me beat, see. Yeah, you beat me. And bite down so we can see how deep you got it, you Ow. slut. Ooh. Fucking <gasps> slut. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I think you might have won. That yeah. was deeper. Yeah. Now dunk it in that and no. fucking eat it, no, you I'm dirty good. whore. Oh, oh my no, no. God. I would never want to work for you ever, ever. <laughs> well, humiliation is just, you know, it's in the it's in the uh, engagement, uh, oh engagement agreement. You know how we always joke about this is the worst? I feel like this is the worst episode. <laughs> Gross. I hate it. There's like baking soda in here too? Yes. Oh! <laughs> I hate it. You say our love is draining and it can't go on. <laughs> it's so cold. It hurts. The most dramatic creator. And the winner is, by an overwhelming majority, 47.1%, Trisha no! Paytas! <laughs> wow. I really? You won. Oh Here it is. God. Most dramatic <laughs> creator of the year. Enemy oh. styled. Oh Rhinestones. Oh my God. Steamies. Presented oh. to you. And we're here to do some. Go, Go yoga. Couples edition. It's like a romantic date. No, it wasn't romantic. The instructor said the goats like. Uh, she pointed at Trish and said she likes. They like big people. I don't think she pointed to me. <laughs> she did. Venice. Ah, there's a goat on me. They just know to get on you, huh? Hey, goat. What? Why are they? <laughs> they don't even need a. They don't need consent, eh? They just know to do it. No, they'll be all up in your Ooh. business. So these goats are like That's trained that. to get on my back. Yeah. I also thought we should try maybe circus acts, like being a trapeze artist or something for the Oh, show. yeah, you'd be good at that. You get winded making a TikTok. First, you I don't on know the what you're saying. I am very... You literally um, got winded. It was a joke, I'm sure. No, you wasn't it a was joke. A joke. There was nothing rolling. Yeah, like, oh. Ethan, you do too. Oh, called out. Oh, my oh, yeah. gosh. But I'm saying... Who's in better shape? You know what? Me. No, let's do an obstacle course. Get that <laughs> lined up. See who's in better okay. shape, me or that, Ethan. That, that that let's do that. I think you're that all fun. boom. That's the best thing, you. You yes. will not... You cannot do a pull up. I can do a pull up. I can do five pull ups. Let's can, do it right what? now. Where's your bar? Where's the bar? You can do five I'm pull ups. A ah, oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I'm so fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to beat you.
Did you? Uh, uh, ew! Uh, no, I didn't fart. Ew. Stop the fart game. The first competition is who has the fatter ass. So I put on the these TikTok meme leggings. You're kind of cheating with your jock strap holding your ass up. No, where's the struck strap strap? Oh, oh right, here? underneath your butt cheek. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here. Okay. How do you <laughs> accentuate your ass? How do you girls do that? Well, you have to kind of push it out and then like the camera angle has to get a little lower. Here, come get in, get in that shit, Dan. No, push out more. You gotta put, put oh, the fort, yeah. Cause the pants is, <laughs> Yeah, put. <laughs> it's so small that it's like, this feels wrong. Am I doing it right, Dan? If you hold it for a minute, I will buy a Rolls Royce. For yourself? <clears throat> I know it's rewarding to myself, but you're the one that wants me to get it. We'll be matching. That's what I'm saying. Holy fuck! So you're gonna get a Rolls Royce, not a match. So you're okay with me getting the Rolls Royce for the show? She says she's her hands are tied. Yes. <laughs> she can't say no. <laughs> okay. Long. I'm this broke is now. Action packed. I'm fucking. Thanks, Trisha. I'm, you came into my life. <laughs> you're my brother-in-law. You fucking are in my house around my son, just like you said you would. And now I'm broke because of you. You're you welcome. now I'm in fucking debt. Oh. oh God, what's next? I mean, you <gasps> took everything from me. I'm <laughs> oh my God. I'm kidding. You probably kill me though. That's how this ends. Ah. I don't feel bad if I ghost you when I become super famous because I'll be like, oh, posted it. I know how it is. You Do you know? think I'll ghost you? When you become more famous? <laughs> how, and then your path to fame, as we just to recap, is this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm still confused on where on that path of you becoming so famous you need to ghost me. But Can I'm, I just say but Carol, I'm okay with it. I don't, I don't think Carol Baskin would be as famous if she didn't kill her husband. Or unalive or whatever we say. I think you're funnier, but I definitely am more entertaining. I think you are so fun. Sometimes I watch the episodes back and and I don't catch exactly the stuff you're saying in the moment. And I'm like... Because you don't listen to me. I listen to everything you're saying, but it's like a fast-paced conversation. I don't have time to process everything. Um, Thank you. But you're, you are very, very funny. And sometimes I'm like, wow. Round of applause, Patricia. <laughs> very funny. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Are you more entertaining? Yeah. Yeah. You're like uh, the whole triple threat. Yeah. I think if we like had a reality show, like who would get the reality oh, show? Oh, yeah. You, there's nothing good about my reality. <laughs> my final thoughts is this. You can come from me all you want. I've been canceled. People know that I have a, I've been a piece of shit in the past and that's fine. But I just feel like, like, don't come down to my level ever. <laughs> I think that's the moral of this story. Like once you hit down to Trisha Paytas' level, then you are also trash. Dude, you're you're crushing it. You're sitting in a custom-made denim suit. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> God damn. No, you definitely um you definitely have given me uh image rehabilitation on the show. Thank you very much. The Trisha Paytas rehabilitation show, aka Frenemies. I didn't do anything except just. I mean, you did everything. Creep you show. just you let like, you expressed yourself, and we just have a good time. The creep show video was like, I hated Ethan on his own. I hated Trisha, but together they're magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thank I'll take you. it. I'll take Wait, whatever. But why do people hate us so much and now they're like okay with us? That's a great question, Trisha. I think it's just because they didn't like our content before. So it's easier to hate someone when you don't watch their content and you don't become invested in their personality and you don't see them as humans. So every time they fuck up or do something, you just see that part and you're like, I fucking hate them. They fucked up again. I hate them. But when they actually engage with the content and they learn about like, oh, this is who he is, this is who she is, and they see like below just the flaws that the most people a lot of people see then they go oh i like them because they're human beings and i see them for that and not just the mistakes they make mm, right but i think i peed all i know is bit. all i know is that he you peed do you smell it it smells so bad that's so weird did you pee? i don't know i couldn't control it that's did weird do you really smell it Sorry. no wait did you really pee right i'll be now? okay I, th I don't know just a little bit why weird. do you have to pee really bad no I Why'd think something's pee? wrong i don't know i think something's wrong with you me. leaking urine no, he smelled it look he's like oh. wait do you leak urine can I pick them up? Are you wearing Depends or something? No, it just... Is it Squirt? Huh? Is it Squirt? <laughs> no, I think your dog knew. I love it. It's you. very odd that you're sleeking urine. I want to know more about it. He wanted to be picked up. I don't know. I think my... I think my... Um, I don't know. Has this happened before? Never. I just peed a little. It's fine. What? Oh, my God.
But I just find that so <laughs> odd. I need more information about it. It just came out. I have no idea. I maybe should see a doctor. I don't know. It honestly just happened. You don't smell yeah, first it? First time ever. No, I don't smell it. The dog came right to me when I did it. Oh, Fred, you're so sweet. You like you like Trisha's urine? You like sitting in it? He said yes. Yes. Anyway, we've Anyways. said enough. Yeah, so we're on good terms. Everyone's on, uh, with me anyways. I don't know. I'm not getting into any of the things. Are we just going past the thing that you just peed your pants? I don't know. It smells, it smells bad. It smells <laughs> gross. I'm embarrassed right now. So can we not talk about it? You gotta wrap it up. But I have to understand this phenomenon. I've never done that. Well, you just let, you expect let me just what let you go that you, you peed your pants? A reason that well, I don't I guess, know? I guess we'll wrap it up. I just find it fascinating. Okay. Bye. Well, I don't want my dog in your urine. It's not in my urine. It's obviously finding something comforting about my right, body you're right so now. Sweet. I yeah, know, your urine. Is he? Yeah, he's he so never bad. comes to me to like let me hold him. He's so sweet. I love him so much. Oh, Fred, you're the best ever. I'll take him. Can I take him for a week? Over my dead fucking body. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love okay. my dogs like